Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're here with a quick review of the week one team of the week players, letting you know who you should go and target and who you should avoid. Starting off on the offensive side of the ball, we have Spencer Ware at halfback. This is a decent card, 86 speed, 93 carry, and 89 truck for his strong points. And the 88 acceleration is pretty good. A little slow. Uh, his trucking is not in the 90s. His juke move is not even in the 80s. They're like one point below, so he's not going to get those uh, next level moves. So I would avoid this card uh, and get like a Derrick Henry from last week. Next up is the quarterback, Carson Wentz. This is a pretty good card, 81 deep, 85 mid. 86 short with 81 speed. So this is a really good card to target because all of his throw accuracies are in the 80s. Uh, 88 throw power is pretty high up there compared to other cards. And his 81 speed is what puts him above uh, like an Andy Dalton or other players at uh, the same level. So if you're looking for a quarterback with great uh, mixture of speed, throw power, and uh, throw accuracy, Carson Wentz is a guy you might want to take a look at. Next up on defense, starting off with the cornerback, Deshaun Shedd. This is a cornerback I would actually avoid. He has low press, low play rec, low man, and low zone. The only thing he has going for him is speed and acceleration. So I would definitely avoid this guy and go and get a better cornerback. The only reason you should get him is if you're putting him in the set. At outside linebacker, we have six foot three Bruce Irvin. I have his base goal card is really good this card is amazing at this point in the year with 86 speed 87 excel 93 pursuit 84 block shed and 87 hit power great outside linebacker can definitely play the pass and the run his only downfall is his low 74 strength so he's not going to be able to play in the interior you want him to be able to if anything hold the edge on the outside then last on defense we have quan alexander this is by far my favorite card this week. I went out and got him. He has 87 speed, 85 tackle, 87 pursuit, 84 play rec, and 87 hit power. So you see he stacks really well against the Bruce Irvin. Uh, the best part about this card is that his chemistry is the battle ready. So what that means is whenever he goes to make a tackle on, on the tackle battle, that it's automatically gonna be X every single time he makes the tackle. So not only is this Probably the best middle linebacker in the game right now for a gold card is battle ready, which means he's going to make a lot more tackles because the X button is going to be his battle uh, button every single time. And then last, we have AJ Green, who is the set hero, probably one of the best receivers in the game right now with 88 speed, 91 spec, 90 catching traffic, and 90 route running. Those are the stats that you look for in a receiver, and he's six foot four. Uh, 90 catching and 91 jumping as well. This makes this card ridiculously good, especially at this point of the year. He can run every single route in the game, and he can also catch the ball across the middle. So definitely go and target AJ Green. And this week's hero is the Harrison Smith, one of the best free safeties in the game. 89 play rec, 89 zone, 87 speed, and 90 hit power. This is a tremendous card to let him do his own thing in the backfield while you use her, say the other free safety and let him do his own thing. He's going to make big hits, and he's going to also pick the ball off for you. He's six foot two, uh, so that means he's not going to get aggressive caught on him if you're using the SWAT mechanic. So if they lob it up, and he's one-on-one. -on -one, uh, click on and definitely use the SWAT mechanic, and he will knock the ball down for you. Hope you all enjoy this review on the week one Team of the Week players. If you like these type of videos of me reviewing the cards and letting you know what I think about them, if you should get them or not, let me know with a like or leave something in the comments saying that you like these videos and want me to keep making them. Uh, if you want to become a patron, head on over to the link in the description below for the best blitzes, schemes, tips, and glitches in Madden 17.